and welcome back to WCCF Tech TV and today we're going to take a quick look at the Cryo Rig C7. Now the Cryo Rig C7 is an interesting cooler because it's positioned to be a stock cooler replacement for Intel and AMD parts. Now one of the things that it really does well is it adheres to what they call the no-fly zone, meaning that you're almost going to have complete compatibility with almost any motherboard, almost. There's always that exception, but almost any motherboard will be able to utilize this. Now, it, the dimensions are, and this is with the fan, is 97 by 97 millimeters by 47 millimeters tall so it's really low profile and can fit in a lot of places especially something like an elite 110 from cooler master you'll be able to fit it in there with no problem it is it actually contains four six millimeter heat pipes so it's just a little bit bigger than your reference cards as far as the surface area but it's the same height as a stock intel cooler and a little bit shorter than the amd cooler now it's really important to keep in mind that the purpose of this again is a stock cooler replacement so you're not going to be getting any kind of really high overclocks with it it's going like I would love to have compared it to my stock cooler on my 4770k but put an image right here you can see really couldn't do that because my stock cooler didn't seat properly nothing I did would allow the thing to sit properly and get a good baseline so for this test we're gonna have to compare it using the hyper 212 and a, before we get into it the hyper 212 is going to outperform this because while I couldn't get the TDP rating of a hyper 212 Evo this one has a TDP rating of a hundred watts so you're not going to use it on an 8350 and 8370 something like a 9590 is completely out of the question but say a 6300 from AMD or really any CPU that you're not going to be overclocking from Intel outside of their enthusiast uh, range, you'll be perfectly fine. So how well does it perform? Well, we'll take a quick look at that and see how it looks in the system. But a quick disclaimer before you see these results, this chip that I have is a 4770K that has been delid and at the time of testing the thermal paste was replaced with Cooler Master Master Gel. From what I could tell it got me on par with the temperatures that most people are getting with the 4790K. So I'm not getting the best temperatures in the world with a delid, but I'm also getting, uh, it's, it's a little bit better than it was, so it's something to keep in mind. Now those were the results and typically ROG real bench yeah it had high numbers but it also puts an extreme load on your system it usually gets me the hottest temperatures of most tests that I run and the Cinebench is a what I like to call a quick and dirty it gets it a bit hotter than your normal use but under a gaming load you can see that the C7 actually keeps it fairly cool by comparison of say a stock cooler. Yeah, it's a bit warmer than the Hyper 212, but the thing about this is it fits pretty much anywhere, whereas a Hyper 212, you do have height clearance that you have to worry about. Also, another thing to keep in mind with the way this is designed, it's also gonna be blowing air across your voltage regulating. So your power delivery on your motherboard is gonna be getting some good airflow from this. So that's something real important to keep in mind. So in the end, for what it costs, it comes in a little bit cheaper or close to the price of a Hyper 212, but if you're not gonna be overclocking and you don't really want to have the hassle or if you're scared about doing a new cooler this one makes it so easy for Intel users it actually comes pre-assembled and all you have to do is stick it through the holes and clamp it on the back that's it super simple and I definitely can approve of this cooler if you use it in the right applications so that's been all we have today on the 
Cryo Rig C7. And we thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next one.